Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I thought we could go ahead and test out the new Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation. I just have a little sample card of the four lightest shades that came with my most recent order. I got some of her new lippies, which I wasn't sure if I should do like a separate video on or if I should just do like a full like lip swatch video of all of the velvets that I have from Lisa Eldridge. Maybe that would be more helpful. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and try this out today and see how much I like it, if it'll be worth buying the full size. I'm also a little bit nervous because I just don't know that the shade is going to be light enough for me. It's funny because I was watching Lisa Eldridge's video talking about the foundation and she was saying like a lot of people who wear the lightest shade in a lot of foundation ranges were not wearing even close to the lightest shade in her range. Um, and I know it's just like in here so I can't really tell what it's going to look like until I put it on my skin. But I normally wear the lightest shade in most foundation ranges and this one is still looking maybe my skin tone maybe just a touch darker but we'll see this is going to be part of my lightest shade series where i test out the lightest shade in a foundation we're going to do n01 which is a neutral undertone um this series was inspired by nima tang she has the darkest shade series so i always leave her playlist down below as well because she was the one who made me want to do this version um so we're going to go ahead try it out and then i'm going to do a wear test all day long we're gonna see how it looks and how it is and if it's worth buying because you know I'm tempted I love Lisa Eldridge's makeup products in general so we're just gonna try it out probably do a very simple face I'm not like wanting to do a bunch of makeup today what I'm gonna do actually is I'm just gonna peel this off and do some quick swatches of all four of the lightest shades just so we can see them on my arm you know what okay the shade number one is looking better look at that right there yeah okay it's like blending in. It was just a tiny bit, but it looks better um, outside of the packaging. Okay, I'm kind of getting foundation all over, but I'm just going to start off with shade 4 because it's already on my thumb. So there's what shade 4 looks like, which actually is definitely lighter than I thought, just looking in the packaging. That one is described as a light with peach undertones. So next we have 03, which is golden undertones. Alright, so here's... Zero three. Okay, next we have zero two, which is rosy undertones. And then zero one, which is neutral undertones. So I would say that I'd still go, like as it's drying down, they look like they're appearing a little bit darker. So the lightest shade is definitely what is still looking the best for my skin tone. I'm gonna show just some different foundations for reference. I have this Ulta Stick Foundation in Very Fair Cool. This is one of the lightest foundations that I have. So just to show you, that's definitely a little bit lighter, a little bit pinker than the Neutral 01. I have the lightest shade of the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in the shade Vare 120N. Oh, there's e.l.f. right there. I would say these two shades are similar, but the e.l.f. one, even though it's also described as neutral, looks just a little bit warmer. I'm just trying to pull any foundations I have around me to compare. I have the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation in the shade LG1. So here's LYS right here. This one's a lot better if you have a warm undertone and you need a really light shade because these warm undertones here are, as you can see, like they kind of got deeper as they dried down. So there's the swatches up close. I already prepped my skin with the e.l.f. Nourishing Night Cream. I just put it on like a few minutes before I did my eyebrows and then we've been talking this whole time so it's kind of had time to sink in. In Lisa's video, she said that the best way to do it is to do it with your fingers or to apply it to do it <laughs> to apply it is with your fingers and to kind of build it up if you need more i think i accidentally went in with a little bit too much even though that was not even one pump worth so we'll just kind of throw it on and see she also said some people oh man i was gonna do one side and then not the other side for my thumbnail like i normally do because normally i do like a brush on one side and a sponge on the other but um I wanted to apply this how she said so just blending that in with my fingers she was saying you could use a flat foundation brush but I don't really like flat found foundation brushes and I feel like applying it like it looks much lighter than my skin tone but again I feel like on the arm it looked like it dried down a little bit deeper so I'm just gonna 
throw it all over and I think I think it's a decent match and anyways if I went the next shade up it would be too pink so just blending that in very careful around my nose because my piercing fell out this weekend and I had to get it re-pierced it was it was a great time I cried a lot because <laughs> it really hurt but um I feel like that gave a very light kind of tinted moisturizer type of coverage. It looks pretty. I can definitely see the finish, which is supposed to be like neither matte nor dewy. It's kind of like that perfect natural in between. That's what the claim is. I can see that to be true on my skin, but I think I'm going to go ahead and build it up and do a second layer just out of curiosity. Just kind of focusing it on the spots that I have a little bit more redness, which is like mostly my cheeks right now. I feel like this would be really pretty with um, the Auric Glow Lust mixed in. I feel like that builds up. I feel like that gave, I would say like a soft medium coverage. I guess I could keep going, but for me personally, that's as much as I would normally build up any foundation. I don't wear a lot of full coverage, so I think that looks pretty. I definitely have some very dry spots on my skin right now, and it doesn't look like it's um, holding on to it too much, but my nose, I don't know if you can see, it definitely is looking a little bit flaky. I don't know that I'm sold yet on like whether I need to go and buy the full size, but I think it looks pretty. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a tiny bit of concealer. I wanna do very minimal face makeup today just so we can really see how this lasts. I'm gonna take the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade Fair 05W and just add a little bit right on my dark circles and just blending that out with my finger. I'm sort of tempted to cover up the little bit of like redness on my skin that some parts don't look the absolute best, but I think I'm just going to let it go and just see how the foundation does by itself, like I said, just to get the most information out of the wear test. And then on one half of my face, I'm going to set with the Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder, I think maybe this side, just to see at the end of the day the difference between a side set with powder and a side not, because a lot of times I don't set with anything. Alright, so just trying to take just a little bit. Just... Setting this side. Probably just grab a tiny little bit and do the concealer right here, but that's it. I'm gonna add just a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Just a Flush Cheek Palette. I think I'm gonna go into this lighter mauve shade. Just throw a little, a little bit of color on my cheekbones. And then really quickly, I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of mascara. All right, y'all, so it is 10.55 pretty much right now. Here is how the skin is looking. I was debating on doing a little bit of highlighter, but I'm like, let's just let the foundation wear on its own, see if it ends up looking a little bit more dewy throughout the day, or if it ends up looking dry, and just, you know, put it all to the test, basically. So let me zoom you in. So I feel like you can definitely see on my nose the dryness and the texture that's going on there. It could definitely look better. <laughs> All right, y'all, I will be back in a few hours. So the time is now 4.33. It's been almost five hours since I applied the foundation, and I have to say, so far, I'm feeling pretty good about it. There's not a huge difference between the side that I set with powder and the side that I didn't. The only thing is that when there's not quite so many artificial lights going on around me, this side has a bit more of like a satiny finish to it, just like the slightest, slightest amount. So I feel like I'd be comfortable not setting this foundation because it still looks just as good and I feel like the wear looks about the same on both sides. In fact, the wear looks really, really good. Like all of the like little redness and everything that I have, I feel like it looks pretty much the same as when I applied it this morning. Um, there's just a tiny, tiny little bit of like dryness right here, a little bit of dryness on my nose. I'll zoom you guys in. But so far I do feel like I'm really liking it. I'm gonna try and use what's left of the sample that I have and do it mixed tomorrow with the Auric Glow Lust and see how I like that, probably to determine whether I end up purchasing this or not. So I'll have to leave that in a pinned comment how that wear test goes, but so far, so good. <laughs>
So I just wanted to show you guys really quickly what the foundation looked like after about 10 hours. This was at 8.50 p.m. and I felt like it looked really good. It seemed to hold its coverage all throughout the day. My nose looked a little bit dry, but it wasn't an amount that made me not want to use the foundation again or anything like that. I just normally have a little bit more of a dry nose. Sorry that I couldn't film <laughs> the last update. I wasn't at home but hopefully you can see what it looks like still, even though it was just pictures from my phone. Um, overall, I'm happy with the foundation. I am considering to purchase it, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna do it right away. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful for y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.